In previous versions of En-ROADS, we were able to edit cross sections and write those edited cross sections back to our surface. In this video, I will demonstrate how to add riprap to our cross sections and then write that riprap back to our terrain so that we can compute quantities. The first thing I'm going to do is select Open Cross Section View. I'm going to select my corridor, open my view, and select the view. I'm going to right click Edit Station. I'm going to add rip wrap to my cross sections. I'm going to do this a few times, so for the sake of time, I'm just going to abbreviate my rip wrap. And I'm also going to just freehand this. Once again, right click Edit Station, and right click, I'm going to add an a constraint component. And my component name, once again, it's just going to be RR for RipRap. And I'm going to add my feature definition for RipRap. I'm going to pause just for a second because after I completed my second component, note that it does display in my cross section view. When creating volumes, you must have a component at at least two consecutive st uh, stations to compute the volume. I'm going to add a few more. And these are actually being added so that we can actually uh, see the result when I create my cross sections. I'm going to cost my cross sections are going to be uh, cut on uh, an inter interval of 50. I want to make sure that I do have components placed for at least 50 feet. Great, this is my 50 station here, so this will be my last one. Okay, I'm not going to close my cross section view. And note that we can actually see our rip wrap placed in our plan view as well. So now I'm going to create my cross sections. And I'm just going to call this set rip wrap. And let's go ahead and do 25 foot intervals. And we'll just end this set maybe here.
Okay, and note that we do have our rip wrap display in our cross sections, and we can now compute our in area volumes. Make sure that you have your correct model selected. And I'm going to check create XML report as well. I'm going to select my volumes XSL because I want to see the volumes for my rip wrap. So I'm going to select volumes XML and note we have our rip wrap feature, the volume of 9.5, and our next station 17.8 and the next station is zero because we want to place wrap at a few stations.